Hello, friends! Miss Sarah here. Welcome to another day of online learning. Today, we'll quickly go through the calendar, then the weather. Afterwards, we'll be talking about the letter U. To wrap up today, I'll be reading you one of my favorite stories from when I was in pre K. Here's our calendar. We are still in the month of March. Let's see what day of the week it is. There are seven days in the week. The seven days are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Hmm, what day of the week is today? I'll give you a hint. Yesterday was Wednesday, so today is... Thursday! Excellent job, my friends! Now, we can check the date by counting our days in March. Ready, set, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen! Wow! You did amazing! Give yourself a round of applause! So the day of the week is Thursday, and it's the nineteenth day in the month of March. Let's take a look at our weather today. Take a peek out of the window to see if it's sunny, partly cloudy, cloudy, raining, windy, or snowing. It looks like today is a cloudy day, and I hear that there's a chance of having some rain off and on. Our temperature today, how warm or cold it is, started off at 42 degrees and will go up a bit to 48 degrees at the warmest. This means it's still going to be somewhat chilly today. If you're going to go get outside today, Oscar says you'll definitely be needing a sweater or jacket. If you do see it's raining, make sure to put on your raincoat, some rain boots, and grab an umbrella to keep your noggin dry. It's time for us to talk about letter sounds. Yesterday, we talked about words that start with T. Today, we're going to talk about the letter U. We will see what the letter U looks like, how it sounds, and how to write both upper and lowercase u. First, let's take a look at our alphabet. Do you notice anything different about some of our letters? The orange letters are called vowels. The letter U is a vowel. Vowels like U can be long. Or they can be short. Boop. Hmm. I wonder if this means the letter U looks short or looks long. Because usually when we talk about something being short or long, we can see it. Like the top pencil is shorter than the bottom pencil. But when it comes to letters, we aren't talking about the way they look. We're talking about the way they sound. The letter U can sound long or short. Let's listen to the sound of a short U and then long U. The short U makes the uh sound, like an up, uh, and umbrella, uh, umbrella. That's the short. U. The long U makes the U sound, almost like saying the letter's name. Unicorn begins with a long U, and so does unicycle. Unicorn, U. Unicycle, U. A unicycle is like a bicycle, but with one tire. Now that we've listened to the sounds the letter U makes, let's practice writing upper and lowercase U. If you can grab some paper and something to write with, like a pencil, a crayon or marker, that would be great. If you don't have these, that's okay. 
you can use your pointer finger and trace the letter U in the air. We are going to start up at the skyline and go all the way down to the ground line. With the uppercase letter U, we start way up at the skyline and go all the way down to the ground, then make a nice round turn back up to the skyline. Great job! Let's try the lowercase u. With lowercase u, we start at the middle airplane plane line. We go down to the ground line, then make a round turn back up to the middle airplane line, then back down to give it a fancy little tail. Friends, you're doing an amazing job as always. I'm very proud of you. I think it's time to read one of my very favorite stories. I like it a lot and I hope you like it too. The title of the book, what the book is called, or the name of the book, is Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. The author, the person who wrote the words in the story, is named Judith Vorst. The illustrator's name is Ray Cruz. The illustrator is the person who draws the pictures in the books. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard and, by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his cereal box. But in my cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I am going to be carsick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moya was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity in just me. Come back next week, and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for my mom to get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then I started crying because of the mud, and Nick said I was a crybaby, and... While I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and for fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody... No one even answered. So then, we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. 
Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up Dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was as careful as could be except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said please don't pick him up anymore. <sighs> it was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. Ugh. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed. Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Even in Australia. Fantastic listening, friends. Thank you so very much for all your hard work. You really are the best. If you're looking for more to do today, you can grab some art supplies to create your own story, turn up your favorite songs and bust a move, practice taking quiet, deep breaths, go for a walk with a buddy, or watch a movie that makes you smile. Thank you so much for watching. A new video will be out tomorrow. Until then. Keep washing those hands and being awesome.